Nepal, a small and beautiful country situated between India and Tibet. Despite its small size, the country boasts a very rich history. This land enriched in mythological, religious, cultural and natural wonders has captivated people worldwide with the unparalleled beauty of the Himalayas. Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, extends its invitation to mountain lovers and tourists alike. But Nepal is not just about mountains. On one side, there are extraordinary jungles in Chitwan National Park and Paras National Park. On the other, the mesmerizing beauty of Pokhara and Sarangkot. On one hand, the presence of pilgrimage sites like Pashupatinath, Muktinath, Janakpur and Lumbini. And on the other hand, Bhaktapur, Patan and Kathmandu's historical significance. All these make this teeny country a must visit destination. So are you excited to go to Nepal? Then let's go and explore. To visit Nepal, it's essential to plan ahead. Nepal is a country where a single wrong plan can double or even triple your per person expenses for touring. Conversely, a well thought out tour plan can save you a considerable amount. So watch this video carefully and make your tour plan accordingly and visit the beautiful neighboring country of India and Tibet, the kingdom of the mountains, Nepal, with confidence. So, let's start. To create a perfect tour plan for Nepal, the first thing to decide is where we want to go in Nepal. The main tourist attractions in Nepal are number one, Kathmandu, number two, Pokhara, and if you love jungle, then number three, Chitwan National Park. Apart from these, other places which are usually visited by several tourists are Lumbini, Janakpur, Manakamana, Mustang Valley and Muktinath. Moreover, there are also many wonderful trekking routes in Nepal, but we are keeping them out of this tour plan. Now, let's see how much time we should allocate to each place to make the tour neither hectic nor require excessive time. In my opinion, for the most balanced tour plan, the time should be as follows. For Kathmandu, you need 3 nights. For Pokhara, 3 to 4 nights. For Chitawan, 2 nights. If you go to Lumbini, then 1 night is sufficient. For Janakpur, 1 night. And if you plan for Mustang Valley at Muktinath, then 2 to 4 nights depends on how you are going there. The third and one of the most crucial aspect of the tour plan is timing. That is when you should visit Nepal. Remember, Nepal can be visited all over the year, but the best time is from November to March. December and January are quite cold in Nepal, so be aware of that. The most ideal time to visit Nepal is November and mid-February to end of March. During this time, Nepal experiences the most comfortable weather clear skies and gives you an overall fantastic experience. The fourth and a very important aspect is how you are coming to Nepal. If you are coming directly to Kathmandu by air, then the tour plan will be different than if you enter Nepal through the land borders of India like Raksol and Sanawli. We discuss both of them in detail. Now let's go ahead and finalize the tour plan. Firstly, let me share with you the most popular tour option. Assuming you have around 6-7 days and plan to arrive in Nepal by air. In this short tour, you should cover only Kathmandu and Pokhara. But if you have only 2-3 to three days of time to spend, then visit Kathmandu only and skip Pokhara or vice versa. Avoid running through here and there. It's crucial to spend some time at each location to truly enjoy and appreciate them. Because to get to know any place or to understand the culture and essence, it is very important to spend some time there. Therefore, the best tour plan of 6 to 7 days would be as follows. Take a flight to Kathmandu which arrives in the morning. The sooner you reach Kathmandu, the better. Plus, the early flights allow you to witness the breathtaking beauty of the snow-capped Himalayas. As the day progresses, clouds usually cover the view. So it's best to arrive in Kathmandu in the morning. And here is a crucial tip for you. 
upon arriving in Kathmandu, considered taking a direct flight to Pokhara. Why? I will explain that later. Spend 3 to 4 days in Pokhara. To fully enjoy Pokhara, immerse yourself in its beauty. There is no better place to spend a relaxed holiday than Pokhara. Enjoy Pokhara to your heart's content. Spend one full day in relaxed mode enjoying Pokhara lakeside. Opt for a mesmerizing boat ride or enjoy kayaking on Fewa Lake. Experience Pokhara's vibrant nightlife. You can spend another day by opting for a sightseeing tour of Pokhara. Visit Gupteshwar Mahadev, Devi's Fall, Bandikot Mahadev Statue, Shanti Stupa, Mahendra Cave, Bat Cave, Bindavashini Temple, etc. But reserve one day for Sarangkot. Don't miss the sunrise and sunset here. On a clear day, Sarangkot will spellbound you. Guaranteed. And here is the special tip. Choose the date to go to Sarangkot after reaching Pokhara. Check the weather report and plan accordingly. For sunrise, book a car which will drop you near the watchtower. For sunset, opt for Annapurna cable car service. This ropeway journey will mesmerize you. Go to the cafe on top of the cable car station at Sarangkot. Enjoy the unforgettable sunset from this 360 degree glass covered cafe. After sunset, return by cable car and enjoy a bird's eye view of Pokhara city along with the Fewa Lake at dusk. After spending 3-4 days in Pokhara, come back to Kathmandu, the only functional international airport of Nepal. While the most comfortable option is to fly back, you can also opt for a road trip. However, keep in mind that the road journey from Pokhara to Kathmandu takes about 10 hours or more and the road conditions might not be optimal. It can be a challenging and long journey, so flying back is recommended. Now a bumper tip from Beautiful Journeys. The cost of domestic flights in Nepal is much cheaper for Indians and Nepalese compared to other foreigners. For example, the fare between Kathmandu and Pokhara is around 4000 Nepali rupees for Indians, while it's nearly three times that for other foreigners. On the other hand, the cost of hiring a car from Pokhara to Kathmandu is around 12,000 to 15,000 Nepali rupees, making flying more cost effective for Indians, especially for two to three people. But if you want to visit the Manakamana temple, you will need to return to Kathmandu from Pokhara by road. In this case, our suggestion is to stay at Manakamana for one night. Manakamana is a place equidistant from Pokhara and Kathmandu. Take a bus from Pokhara to Monokamona, spend a day there, enjoy a scenic cable car ride, perform a puja at the temple, relax and continue the journey to Kathmandu on the next day. At the time of flying back from Pokhara to Kathmandu, consider taking flights around 11 am. This way, you can have a relaxed morning in Pokhara and still reach your hotel in Kathmandu by 2 pm. Spend three nights in Kathmandu. One day visit local sightseeing of Kathmandu, starting with Pashupatina Temple and Gueshwari and then visit Bodhya Stupa and Darwar Square in Patan and Kathmandu. Another day visit Nagarkot and Bhaktapur in the morning and Swayambhunath and Chandragiri Hill in the afternoon. Use day three for exploring Kathmandu by foot. Experience Nepali local cuisine like Thakali Thali, explore the Thamil area, do shopping, etc. But if you want a complete tour guide of Kathmandu covering Kathmandu city, Patan, Bhaktapur and Nagarkot, let us know in the comment section and we will create one for you. On the fourth day after lunch, take a flight back home from Kathmandu. As you come to Nepal by air, Kathmandu is the only option for international flights. That's why we have tailored a plan for you accordingly. If you have any further questions or need additional details, please feel free to ask in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video, share it with like-minded people and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned. Now let's delve into the story of traveling to Nepal via the land border. The most popular route for traveling to Nepal via land border, especially for those residing on the eastern side of India is Raksaul. However, those planning to go to Lumbini can enter through Raksol and exit through Sanauli or enter through Sanauli and exit through Raksol. 
This is because Lumbini is situated close to Sanawli. The most popular tourist circuit on the Raksol route is the Chitwan Pokhra Kathmandu circuit, which can be well covered in an 8 night tour plan. I am referring to an 8 night plan from Raksol to Raksol, excluding the train journey. If you use wish to visit the Mankavana temple, it will take an additional day, meaning a total of 9 nights. But it can still be covered in an 8 night tour. In that case, the first day or two may be a bit hectic. Start your journey by taking the Mithila Express from Hawra, reaching Raksol the next day at 9 am. Do all your morning activities on the train, such as using the bathroom, washing your face and having tea or light breakfast. Upon disembarking, Take a Toto to Birgon bus stand, also known as the bus park. You will need to take two Totos, the first from Roxul station to the border and the second from the border to the Birgon bus stand. Don't opt for Tanga. Why? You may end up with touts and brokers. If everything goes smoothly, you should reach the bus park by 10 am. Upon reaching the bus park, immediately book a microvan for Chitwan. You can share the travel for 400 Nepali rupees, but I suggest booking the entire microfan for 4000 Nepali rupees, especially if you are four or more people. This way, you can travel comfortably and the van will drop you directly at the hotel in Chitwan. After booking the microvan, have a light meal at the bus park. These microvans may take a break for about an hour in the middle of the journey for charging. There you can eat something also. You should reach Chitwan within 2 to 3 pm. Check into the hotel, freshen up and take some rest. Be ready again. Book the jungle safari package for the next day and go for a walk towards the banks of river Rapti for a mesmerizing sunset experience. Next day, go for the jungle safari. Explore the streets of Chitwan. There are two, three local sightseeing points you can explore. Overnight, in Chitwan today. The following day, get ready early, have breakfast and set out for Pokhara. You can take a bus, share a minivan from the bus park or even hire a car. The bus costs 400 Nepali rupees, minivan costs 500 Nepali rupees per person and hiring a car may cost around 8 to 10,000 Nepali rupees. It will take about 6 hours. So you may have lunch during the journey. Once you reach Pokhara, spend 3 to 4 nights there. Relax one day and enjoy the Feva Lake and Lakeside. Keep one day for Pokhara sightseeing and one day for sunrise, sunset and adventure sports at Sarangkot. And if you plan to visit the Mustang Valley and Muktinath, take a flight from Pokhara to Jamsam. By road, the journey is very rough, so be aware of that. If you choose the flight, Muktinath trip will require 2 days. And if you go by road, it may take 3 to 4 days. After that, fly back to Kathmandu from Pokhara. Keep 3 nights in Kathmandu. After reaching Kathmandu, spend the evening strolling around the Thamel area. Spend one day for Nagarkot and Vaktapur. Spend another day for local sightseeing in Kathmandu. There is also a detailed guide on Kathmandu in this channel. I have provided the link above and in the description box. Next day, Fly from Kathmandu to Simara, which is 25 km away from Roxol. If you don't want to stay overnight at Roxol, return to Roxol on the day when the return train from Roxol is at night. If you want to return by Mithila Express, then you have to reach Roxol the previous day and need to stay at a hotel. Or you can take a overnight bus journey from Kathmandu to reach Roxol early in the morning. And even if there is a night train, take an afternoon flight from Kathmandu. That means by 2 to 3 pm. Don't delay too much. It is best if you take the flight around 11 am. Domestic flights of Nepal are often running very late, 3 to 4 hours late are common. So it is better not to take any risk. Don't get stressed out. Return to Roxel with time on your hand. And here are the last but very important tips from Beautiful Journeys. There is a good veg restaurant near Roxel station called Shambhu Bhajan Alay. Eat there and pack train food too. You may not get good food on the train. Then what else? Return home, check
chatting with fellow passengers on the train and feel how cheaply and comfortably you completed a trip to Nepal with this tour plan. I ended here today. In the next Nepal guide video, we will discuss the cost of traveling to Nepal in detail. And if you like this video, please like it, share it with everyone and comment if you want to know anything else or want to give your opinion. And be sure to subscribe. Bye.